Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos. We're going to go over to the Amber Museum. That's it. Amber Museum. I'll get that right eventually. It's windy and it's getting colder, but Amber Museum. It's right next to the Astronomical Park. So there's this astronomical thing on the wall that's painted and then there's this guy behind us and it has all these signs and things all about astronomy, but that's not why we're here. We're here for this other amazing building. Do you see this weird, like, triangular shaped, strange building over here? That's the Amber Museum. I had uh, one of my followers uh, like the Amber stuff. So we're going to look at this. Let's do it. So that's the, the amazing thing. Painting. And it's got a sundial in front of us. But again, this is our bad boy. And I, I think that this is a mill or was a mill at one point. But I don't know for sure, but it certainly is amazing. And I like all the, the windows and everything else. I thought it was a church at first, but uh, I don't think it's a church. It's just an amber museum. Yeah, I think this was the old mill. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And like I told you, the Astronomical Park or whatever, it's got this uh, sundial and tells you all about that. And then it's got these rings over here that talk about magnetism. And so there's all sorts of things. Oh, Founder Fontani. I don't know what that is, but okay. Let me show you this building. And it's called Museum Burst Zikku. And it's got a little a little guy on a cell phone out here. Who's cute. Gedanksly Helton. Maybe he's an artist or something. Hmm. Very cute. But this is where I'm going. The museum. Okay, everybody. Oh, this is why this is a mill. Because all that water that runs by that house goes through here and you could obviously tell this was something at one time so anyway let's go inside the museum bye bye okay everybody i got my tickets and i think we go in here and that does it thank you okay everybody this is the amber museum let me get my camera set up right there we go that's a little better so Let's go look around and this is in that big mill building I guess they've renovated it to uh, to take care of the amber museum huh wow that's amazing look at the chunks of amber how you doing Jim Dobra. Hit pause if you need to. In water and soil, are very So I guess there's a whole bunch of different types of ambers, huh? Certainly interesting. So this looks like it's a sheet cut from the same, like a vein of amber or something. Huh. What? Welcome to this room. Go to this room? Yes, there is a very good exhibition on this room. In this room, okay. This room, there's a very good expedition. Oh, 
okay. So this is the mill house, like I was telling you about back in the day. Yeah, and that's exactly right. The water would flow through here, and they could cut wood. Oh, look at all the work, all the saws and stuff. Huh. I don't know what there is to see here, but maybe the, the old building? I want to see the amber. <laughs> Wow, I didn't realize there was so much different types of ambers and things inside of them and geez, leaves and twigs and look at that one, it's got a branch in it. And you press the button, so one, um, And it doesn't tell you anything about it. Let's hit 10. Wow. Okay. Hmm. This one has a whole salamander in it or something. Look at it right there. Talk about crazy. Wow. What's this one have? Oh, like a tarantula. Look at it here. Wow. That is a tarantula. Wow. Huh. And what's this one? Well, this one is a gecko. It's extremely rare. We know only two species known as the Baltic. Oh, you can see the gecko here. One here too. Very cool. I don't know how that's going to show up on my screen, but... The bright light makes it tough, huh? That yeah, doesn't help one bit. <laughs> well, let me see if we can get this to read, and you guys can at least read it as you go here. Can you see all that? Let me see if I can get all the way out. I think that's got it all. Okay. Pause as you need to. I hope you can see all that. Wow, look at this one. Yeah, if it was covered with dirt, you wouldn't even know. Some of them are really pretty. Hmm. Mosquitoes and 
trapped in the amber, huh? Yeah, you can't see those, can you? This building's pretty amazing. So I that one's number 10, so I guess you can come over here and press number 10. And it... Oh, there's no photo for that. How about 65? 75? 73? Nope. <laughs> okay. See if I can get this for you. Some people like to read these things, so. All right, I think that's just about the whole thing. And it should be a good enough picture where if you pause it, you can zoom in. Two hypotheses are put forward to explain the cause of mass resin excretion to conifers more than 40 million years ago. The first speculation that perhaps a new unmet pest appeared and trees tried to defend themselves can you see where I'm at? Defend themselves against the excrement excreting immense quantities of resin the second ponders that the, perhaps the intense volcanic eruptions took place in the vicinity of the forest land the masses of volcanic ashes coated the vegetation and the smoke oozing out of the volcanoes hindered gas exchange in the plants which resulted in intense production of resin one can presume that the bed of amber forest was soaked with water which preserved the resin seeping out of the trees and contained in dead tree trunks in the form of amber trapped in the water in the soil the resin would undergo various physical and chemical processes and complex transformations fossilization until it gained its hardness turning into a so-called Baltic amber. Inclusions, inclusions, which are like bugs, have let researchers identify some species of the flora and the fauna present in the, present in the amber forest. We know that the structures of the forest only to an extent since not all plants, not to mention animals, sank in liquid amber resin. The immense red is okay. Well, the pattern of seas and land in the Eocene, whatever, 56, 34 million years ago. Wow, okay. Okay, so these trees started just squirting out amber and it would trap bugs and fish and birds and all sorts of things, plant life. And so that Jurassic Park thing is really pretty much <laughs> right on the money, except for the fact that uh, I don't know that a drop of blood would make it happen. Um, that's all the same thing, but in Polish, what's over here? Oh. Huh, okay. Is this English? We owe amber deposits. We owe amber deposits in Poland to the glaciers. In the Pleistonic epic, 2.6 to 11,000 or million thousand years ago, the ice age hit the northern region of the Europe several times, and the glaciers could would all cover almost the entire Pol Poland down to the foot of the Carpathian Mountains. The glaciers shifted soils with the ambers therein. 
the glaciers transported. Okay, so it just moved with the. So they go down looking for it, huh? Huh. I guess they find it everywhere, huh? In the seaweeds? Why are they scooping up? I guess they get trapped. In, they're lighter, maybe, and they... They get trapped in the waves and the currents. Hmm. Okay. There's one more room over here. as you need to. Here we go. The internationally populated called the Nostradamus is familiar to the primary. Pass. Very cool. I think this is ours too. Uh, no. <laughs> Not unless you speak Polish. Tools back then. Hmm. Let's go to the second floor. Look at the mill. That's what you see from the outside. That's pretty amazing. That's very cool too. Hmm. Can you see all that? A plaque with reliefs in bone. Christoph Matuer, 1680, amber bone mica foil of A. Look at these things. They're just spectacular. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like the little trunk back there. Look at this. Wow. And you too, for $7.8 million, could have one of these. That is spectacular. Look at the inlay. That's cool. Madonna. Can you read that from there? Madonna, good thanks. Second half of the 17th century amber alabaster glowing. Okay. Hmm. 
The medallion depicting the shepherd's bow, Sicily, 17th century Sicilian amber gilded silver in the collection of the Gdansk Museum. Purchased, co-financed, and funding by the culture. Hmm. That's really cute too. Well, it only gets better. <laughs> That's very cool too. Look at this chessboard. Wow. Wow. The amber chest set by Michael Redland, Gdansk, 1690. Amber wood paper in the closet. In 1758, the chest set was purchased by Duke of Antoine Lord Gilliam Murray at an auction in Amsterdam, banished to Jacob of Isle, Murray, and sent to Blair Castle. Okay. Scotland, the set remained there until 2015. Wow. And here's all the rest of the pieces. <laughs> How cool is that? Wow. Another box. Huh. You guys see that? You can't, can you? That glare is too much. Pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. Those are some big rings. Big chunk there. Huh. Wow, look at this one. Huh. The windows are amber, I guess. heart wow wow too when you turn the corner and you'll see these other ones oh my gosh look over here a whole table wow okay It's just amazing. People are so gifted to be able to do these kind of things, these intricate. I couldn't get my hand to hold a little tiny pocket knife to scrape this stuff, let alone do this kind of work. This is intense. Huh. <laughs> There's your beer stein. Most expensive beer you ever had. Look at this picture of the building too. It's pretty spectacular. Look at this. The vase for Stalin. Hmm. Wow.
pipes. Did you actually smoke in these things? Hmm. Pretty crazy. Those are cute too, I like those. Huh. Jeez. That's pretty too. Ring kid, anything you want to carry? Okay, everybody. The Amber Museum. But this is going to force me through the for sale section, huh? Should I buy some? That's pretty. Exit, uh, exit, this way, oh you have to exit the shop, do oh. oh. you have to use your, <laughs> ticket, ticket, okay, ticket, ticket, okay. Well, it's just like any jewelry store, I think. How do you exit? 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 Yeah. This way. It's hard to see. <laughs> Thank you. Jinquia. And what you know, none of the prices are available. So, oh, no, that one has a price. $861. Set of earrings, can I read that? 255 or 244. Oh, I think they sell it on the street a lot cheaper. That's it everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye.